How are we doing, sports fans? Ghost Picks Team Justin here. Uh, yesterday was a day that I just honestly want to forget even happened. Um, I got rocked. Uh, it wasn't good. I, everything that could have gone wrong and it, the things that I thought, thought were going to happen, it just, it just wasn't accurate at all. Uh, frustrated to say the least and nothing more than wanting to bounce back today and, and you look and you have two options. And uh, to be honest, neither one of them is a really, a really good day to for NHL hockey, to be honest. So uh, we're going to go through what happened yesterday. Um, starting off with a small play early in the day. Uh, three units we had on the Buffalo Sabres versus uh, Penguins over six and a half goals. And I was looking at the line. And I'm like, man, this this seems it opened at six. I was like, that's kind of that's kind of odd. And I was like, looking at who's going to be in net. Uh, and we had a couple goalies that just have not. One goal he hadn't even played today. I couldn't even tell you his name to be honest. He, I know I looked, did some research on him. He played for Vegas for a little bit. I'm kind of a journeyman in the NHL. Never really had more than a, a game or two in a season. Uh, kind of in the past has been lit up. Uh, I know I saw a couple, a couple games he gave up more than four goals. And then you look at Hauser and Buffalo. You know, just not not good goalies. And then you look at Buffalo, Pittsburgh. Both teams have been putting up a lot of points lately. Um, in a game that Pittsburgh actually needed to win because they want to lock in uh, the East, and I was wrong. Uh, it was just an absolute snooze fest, uh, one nothing game. Haven't seen these teams play defense almost all year. Besides uh, when Pittsburgh played Buffalo, I mean when Pittsburgh played the Bruins, and it was like a playoff atmosphere. And this game was just no chances. Decent goaltending, and it, it was one nothing. I mean, doesn't get much more embarrassing than that, if I'm being honest. Uh, that was a rough game for us. And then also we looked at, uh, we took Tampa Bay, uh, taking on Florida in what seemed to be kind of a preview for the first round in the Central for the 2-3 seed. And, you know, looking at it, I originally was looking, I kind of liked Florida, um, Camp Bay was coming off a of back-to-back. However, you look at some of the injuries that they had. Uh, Verhage and Hornquist were both kind of ruled out. They said if it was a playoff game, they would have played. It was leading me to think that maybe Florida was content, like, you know, they're going to be the three seed to Tampa. And I thought Tampa Bay, coming off a of kind of a bad loss to Dallas, would kind of respond and play pretty hard. And they just they didn't even show up. Florida jumped all over them, um, and they just kind of beat them down early. Uh, Vasilevsky just wasn't playing very well either, and it was another loser. And then we get to our final play in baseball that we had. Uh, we took the St. Louis Cardinals run line versus the Colorado Rockies, and that was just unbearable to watch. Um, Cardinals looked good. They had a huge lead twice in that game, and both times Colorado came right back. Uh, we went into the eighth inning, which was just a absolute gut wrencher it was they were up I think it was nine to five and then they let four runs in in the eighth and then I thought they were going to counter there they had the bases loaded with no outs and they couldn't produce a run and they win by one you know and that's just the way your days go sometimes and that's what we had um, I will say we got a little bit of relief in the late game with our free play winner we took Ottawa Senators again and they were plus 190 I'm glad we got that for everybody that's on the free play, but for everyone who was on my package, you know, I'm sorry. We're going to be better. Uh, Monday looks really good for a card, I'd say, um, but today it's just it's just not there for a card. Um, I am going to put a small play out, and it's going to be my free play as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put three units on the Chicago Blackhawks to beat the Dallas Stars. Um, Chicago coming off a win versus Carolina. Um, they've been playing nothing but playoff teams uh, the past five games. That's why their record lo shows it's a little, uh, little lopsided. But they haven't been playing terrible hockey. They've been playing everybody close. Uh, I feel like Dallas kind of maybe coming off the, the letdown of being eliminated from the playoffs. Are they really going to be there? They got a couple guys who are getting old. Um, Pavelski, you know, like how many more games are they really, are they really going to be playing? How many more seasons, I should say? Um, I feel like for those veteran guys who have been there, done that, you know, it's kind of like their time to like decompress 
I don't think that they're really going to show up. Chicago is a young team. Uh, they still have something to play for. They're, they're trying to get better with as the season goes on. Um, obviously, they have a tough young, uh, rookie goaltender, and they have a lot of young players that I feel like are just kind of auditioning for next year. Uh, do I think Dallas is the better team? Yes, I do. But do I think that they're going to come to play after being eliminated from the playoffs yesterday? I really don't. Um, and with the plus money there, I think it's plus 150 right now for Chicago. I think I would put a small unit play on Chicago today. And like I said, that's going to be my only play. I might look into the Calgary uh, Senators matchup. But it's hard for me to do that right now because I know that the Sens are probably – they're a hot team. I mean, you can't get me wrong. I I was surprised to get them at the at the plus money we did yesterday. I think they are 8-2 and two in their last 10. Um, and, you know, looking at that, Calgary is a team that's, that's kind of in that same – that same funk that Dallas is going to be in, you know, they're going to eliminate from the playoffs. They're not going to make it. Um, what do they have to play for? I think they're traditionally a better team than the Sens, um, but the Sens are hot. So it's something to watch. Um, but like I said, I'm going with the Chicago Blackhawks today. Um, I think with only two games, most of the uh, hockey fans will be watching those games. I think they're going to put on a show. Um, like I said, we just need to get better. And I'm going to try to like, this time is a hard uh, time of the year, trying to find out who's playing for something. And it, I'm just ready for playoff hockey where the games matter for everybody. And you're going to get their best effort every single night. Um, but with that being said, I do like the Blackhawks tonight. So good luck. God bless. Grind on. And let's go.